I'm Jess, and in this video I'm going to be doing a work in progress in chat, aka a whip in chat. Plus I'll also be announcing the two winners of my giveaway part two to celebrate my YouTube channel's first birthday. If you're new to the channel then welcome, and if you're not then welcome back. Again I'll be working on Lady Moth from Diamond Painting Factory UK. This canvas right here is a 40 by 55 centimeter full round drill with poured glue adhesive. Uh, before I start whipping and chatting, please, if you haven't already and would like to, grab whatever it is you're working on and come join me. The items I will be using to work on this canvas will be my Red Heart Drill Pen um, from Donna Bass from the Facebook group Custom Painting Dim Hold on. Custom Diamond Painting Pens and More by Donna Bass. And, and this also has the red 3D printed pen tip from Lexi Lily Crafts over on Etsy. I'll also be using my small red drill tray from Bella Arte Nicole, my round mesh ruler, and my Bite Me scented patty wax, uh, diamond painting wax. And I know I see this every time, but I know most likely I will be using the special drills, um, which are going to be my peacock blue and my red glass drills from DP with sparklers and most likely I'll be using also my arctic blue and my ballet slipper and these are uh, AB drills from DIY Moon Shop. Can you guys even see that? There you go. Okay, I'll link all these items down below in the description box in case anyone's interested in checking this stuff out like I always do. Uh, did I cover everything? I think so. Okay. Uh, but before I start diamond painting and stuff, we're going to see which two winners are going to win my giveaway part two together. So after I show these clips, I'll be right back with the announcement of the winners. Okay, so congratulations to my two winners, Sherry Wright and Annette Frederick. I hope I said your names right. Uh, please get a hold of me through Instagram if you can. My username is always in the description box as well. But if for some reason you don't have an Instagram account, then please comment um, an email that I can contact you through. And thank you so very much to not just Sherry Wright and Annette Frederick, but to everyone who participated and to everyone who is subscribed to my channel. Again, I wouldn't be here without each and every one of you. So for that, I will be forever grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, now uh, time to whip and chat. And during this whip and chat, I'm going to just like catch up with you a little bit. And then I'm going to do like the last part of my get to know me series questions. Um, since I figured it's what, about time. It's only been like six months um, <laughs> since I started. But I already put wax in my uh, pen. So let me grab a color first. Um, let's see here. What should I start with? I think I'll do, I gotta do, oh, so I gotta do those drills. Um, I'm gonna start with the, these are again from DP with sparklers. They're called Peacock Blue. There's like dust on my thing. Okay, um, they're so pretty. I mean, it's just like insanely gorgeous, but yeah. Um, so yeah, let's catch up real quick. How's everyone's week been? I hope it was at worst good and at best fun and safe. Mine was irritating at worst and boring at best. Um, why was it irritating? Well, let me explain. Um, first of all, I threw up this morning. Um, that was gross and I don't know why, like I'm pretty sure it was because I had um, carne asada fries last night and I rarely eat those and I was like starving. So when I do eat carne asada fries, which isn't often, um, I, what is that? Sorry, there's like something on my canvas. I don't know if it's dirt or what the heck, paper. Anyway, sorry, um, I'm getting off track here. When I do eat them, 
I only eat a little bit because it's like heavy food, you know, it just makes you like full fast. But I was starving when I ate them last night and I freaking, I woke up and immediately knew I was screwed, you know, like my stomach felt, do you ever get that sour feeling in your stomach? Like, like you're not really nauseous, but it's like, it's just, I can't explain it other than it, it felt sour. Like, and then I started to burp a little bit and I was like, oh God, here we go, you know? And I, I like freaking, I'm like, move to Sammy. I pushed him out of the way of my boyfriend. And then I just went for it and oh my gosh, it was like the most painful, disgusting tasting. Like, ugh, I'm never eating those freaking fries again. Like, I don't care. That's never happened to me before. Like, I always eat carne asada fries. So they're like bomb, you know? But yeah, I'm good on that. Like, at least if I do eat them again, I'm not gonna eat them like I hadn't eaten for two weeks, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that sucked. Um, and then me and Sammy have just been getting into it. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on, but I know every couple gets into arguments and can certainly get on each other's nerves. But me and me and Sammy are no exception. But for some reason, this past week has just been a little worse than others. Um, on, let me get another color real quick. Is this is E. Okay. So the special drills, right? Like, hold on, let me uh, change subject real quick. I'm only putting on the moths that are on this painting and on the roses. Like, but it's been kind of, I mean, not too hard, but a little bit difficult because I want to make sure I don't put any in her hair. So I think this is a rose right here. So I just have to like go back to the little fo thumbnail photo here. Um, okay, so that's a bug. Is that part of a rose? I think this is part of a rose up here. So I'm just gonna like, yeah, there's a rose down here. I got that and then I think this is her hair. Like, oh my gosh, I hope we get this right. I don't know. It's the only thing I don't like about doing um, customizations. And like normally I would not customize this painting and I will explain this in the post for you when I do it, but I am not a fan at all of the color palette. Like the color of these drills that this painting came with or this kit came with, I'm just, no, I don't like them, like to be honest. So, but yeah, I'm getting off subject. Let me get a drill and shut up. Three, eight, two, eight. Okay, so back to my point. Okay, so you know how somebody, like you may know somebody or you know someone who knows someone. Oh, I'm doing DMC3828. Um, it's kind of like an ugly brown yellow color. <laughs> um, okay, so you know somebody or you know somebody who knows somebody who likes to bring home like stray animals, like stray cats, stray dogs. Like I actually have a cousin who does that, who like wants to take care of own, and own any animal she sees on the street, right? So I understand that, right? But I have a boyfriend who likes to bring stray food or stray junk home, like like shit he sees in a dumpster or something. No, my boyfriend does not dumpster dive. There's no way in hell I would let him do that. But sometimes when, you know, he drives by in his truck and happens to look over, he'll see something and like, ew, I don't care what it is. Like, unless it's still brand new in the box, which usually, you know, you don't get lucky like that. Okay, maybe, but I don't care. Like, call me whatever you want to call me. I just, no, gross. I don't want that in my house, right? Well, he and I are completely opposite in a lot of ways, especially in how we think about things. And <laughs> he will bring everything in the house. And I'm so freaking over it. Like, we live in a tr tiny trailer, okay? But for some reason, he just doesn't either care that we have no room in this house or just gets off on the fact that, you know, I get pissed off when he does this. So he keeps doing it. <sighs> but anyways, um, I'm even going to show you guys what I mean by him bringing a bunch of stray crap over to our house okay hold on I'll show you right now oh my god this filter is so perfect hi guys <laughs> okay so I'm assuming that I'm talking shit right now about Sammy bringing home a bunch of crap from his friend who gave him these things um my thoughts are like dude if this person doesn't want this stuff or his family or his close homies I highly doubt we're gonna want this shit but he is really trying to prove it's like his life mission to prove me wrong so I'm gonna show you real quick what this dude thought was a great idea to bring over to my house okay I'm walking out my house right now it's getting dark I hope you can see 
Dude, look at this shit. Christmas lights that don't work, by the way. I already tried. Shoes that don't fit either of us. And training pads for dogs, which we don't even own a dog. Okay, and then he brings this home, which, by the way, is potatoes, old apples, and bagels that expired like a month ago. This is like the second time in a few months he's done this. I mean, I know it sounds like not that bad, but when he does it every five, like three, four, five months, he's about to take all this crap he brought home and him and throw it all in the dumpster. I mean, at least I'd have a lot more space in this house. Just saying. Okay, so I'm sure some of you are probably like, uh, Jessica, that wasn't even that much stuff. Or you might be thinking, damn, this chick is a strange bitch. <laughs> but to those people um, that are like tripping, thinking like, oh, they're just trying to be nice to you. Why you might be so rude about it or whatever. Okay, first off, what I filmed and what I showed you just now was nothing to what he brought home, okay? I only showed you the stuff that was on the porch because there was so much crap it spilled out out of the house into the porch or onto the porch and I'm not going to show you my house full of crap because that's just not cute okay um and secondly yes I am very much a bitch but it's not like we have no food and we're starving okay one of our neighbor neighbors will go to the food bank and grab food then go through it grab what he wants and anything he doesn't want he gives to Sammy every time which kind of pisses me off because why is the neighbor giving getting shit he doesn't want from the food bank there's actually people out there who really need it that are actually starving and broke and you know what i mean like need the food and i even asked sammy that he said oh he just grabs you know um he just grabs whatever he can and then he goes through it later um excuse me how about you tell him that not only is that not okay that i don't ever want any of this crap at my house again and stop dumping it on my porch to give to you like ugh. Sammy's just a yes man, dude. Like, how how on earth did I end up with a yes man? Because I'm just a straight no chick. Like, I say no to everything. Like, it's very rare I will say yes to anything. And he's just completely opposite. You know? Like, I don't know. The other thing I'll say no to, or not say no to, is money, obviously. But he says yes to freaking the dumbest stuff. And then, like, his friend gives him that stuff I showed you. And I'm like, this isn't a fucking swap meet, dude. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Call me whatever you want to call me. Stuck up, whatever. I just don't care. Like, gross. One time he did this, okay? And this is why I freak out about it now, especially. Because one time he did this and um, it brought a freaking cockroach. Remember that cockroach story I told you guys? If not, go look at my uh, Whip and Chat cockroach PSD video. Yeah. It was because he brought home some third hand fourth hand goods or whatever the hell it was from somebody and it just happened to be creeping in there thank god it was only one and i was wondering how the hell did that fucker get into my house well i i did some investigating and figured it out which i should have done because it just caused another fight between me and sammy but you know what i don't want a freaking infestation of cockroaches in my house sorry not sorry <laughs> mm. so yeah um We've been fighting a lot lately, but what else is new? Um, what else? Oh, and then, yeah, guess what happened? Uh, let me get another color before I tell you this freaking shenanigans. Um, let's see, should I do E? Uh, e. I only want to do E. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let me pick a color already. Jeez. I'll do, um, yeah I'm gonna do actually I'll do um some 310s yeah I need to do the B get this out of the way I'm gonna do 310 which is black by the way if you didn't know um okay so I wake up the other what a few days ago to the loudest knock on my window and door I probably have heard since uh that I've probably heard from a person that wasn't a cop, okay? Let me just say that. Um, yeah, guess who it was? Sammy's dad and uncle, who like to, you know, always do a surprise visit and just show up. Not necessarily his uncle, but his dad. And I've even talked about this, I'm pretty sure, on my very first women chat. Um, 
not only does he not ever call and like tell us he's coming or anything he just surprise surprise every time and like it drives me effing insane dude like i have a life okay like i'm not gonna drop everything for you i know your son will but guess what i'm not the one so you know and so i wake up i mean sammy goes gets home late from work so we sleep in hella late sometimes up till noon you know usually it's 11 till noon if if I'm like lucky, I'll wake up earlier, like 10, because I don't like to sleep that late. But this day, we just happened to sleep till we heard the knock. So his dad's like, Oh, what's up? What are you doing? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Hi, I'm here. Like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You just woke me up thinking you were a freaking narcotics officer. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? Knocking on my window like that. Like, dude, it scares the freaking crap out of me, right? And then, uh, He's like, well, I need to get ready and shower. Like, hello, we were sleeping. I get home late. Duh. Like, give me 30 minutes. He's like, 30 minutes? He's like, well, 10 minutes. I'm like, fuck him. You know, I was so pissed. I was like, dude, this is bullshit. And then Sammy starts being a dick to me. Like, it's my fault they showed up here. I'm like, dude, don't get, you got me messed up, fool. I was like, don't give me freaking attitude because your freaking dad decided to show up and not, you know, let us know or, you know, just do his regular bullshit that he does. You know, and then he shut up right after that because he knew I was right. Like, what the hell did I do to you? I'm just innocent sitting here alive waking up. The hell? You know, like, <laughs> don't get mad at me, dick. So we get ready and he goes out there, whatever. Well, he gets ready. I'm just taking my sweet ass time because I don't care who the hell you are. You show up to my house without, you know, calling, asking anything. You're lucky you're even, I'm even going to talk to you. But because you're my boyfriend's, you know, dad, I have no choice really. So... <laughs> So Sammy goes out there or whatever, and then I make some coffee, I go out there, I'm still in my pajamas, put my hair up, you know, I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, Sammy's like, oh, my dad's gonna go take us to, or, yeah, that's what we said, uh, he's gonna take us to go get some tires for the car, because one of them popped, of course, because Sammy doesn't know how to drive, so he pops the tires, like, every other freaking month. Well, that, and because we have, like, the shittiest roads where I live, it's mostly rock side roads, you know, but... Regardless, he was gonna go. I mean, that was nice of him. He was gonna go buy him some tires, brand new ones, which is cool. And, um, jack, a car jack or something. I don't know why. Sammy just like, oh, dad, I need some. He just pulls shit out of his ass. I swear, like, oh, t this today I need a car jack. Next time it's gonna be a freaking, you know, um, a set of pliers. You know, it's just like, what? Can you get something like, what the hell are we gonna do with a car jack that you only need every now and then when we can borrow the neighbors? Like, miss me with that and our other neighbor's probably gonna steal it anyways you know <laughs> i hate to say that but you know with with the history of that dude who freaking knows so anyways i'm like okay so you're getting tires on the jack like why do i have to go oh yeah he's like i'm like okay well i have to get dressed because he said we're all going right he's like oh no just go like that and i'm looking at him with the face of like if looks could kill dude i would slit your throat like literally i was just like are you effing kidding me i'm like all right fine so I put the coffee cup down on the porch I'm like come on then let's go and now I'm just being like he knows he messed up then because I'm just like being straight what's it called um where you're being you're being nice but in the most non-nice voice ever like I don't know I'm sure there's a word for it passive aggressive I don't know so I'm like all right well you want to you want me to go just like this so I'm gonna go just like that and we're gonna go now since you won't even give me time to fucking brush my teeth you know like god I was so irritated so anyway so we go to Harbor Freight and oh and then he had to get a sim card because he dropped his sim card in the toilet this is my boyfriend you guys this is my life by the way this is like literally the 20th phone and I wish I was exaggerating probably within a year I wish I could say a year and a half but I don't trust it that much that's how many phones he breaks I don't know how I've had the same phone the first two and a half two and a half years we were together and I just got this new phone like a year and a half ago I think and it was the first nice new phone I've had like ever because like but ever but I've only had two phones and only because I got this one recently the one I have now he literally goes and that's why I refuse to get Sammy a new phone like a nice phone because I know it's gonna be broken within a month like because he throws a temper tantrum or something or he'll leave it on the car or I just <sighs> ridiculous but whatever so we had to do that and then we're, we had to go somewhere else where else did we have to go oh and then his dad's like oh I'll get you guys some neat I'm like dude can you just take me home like you don't need to do this shit go do what you gotta do because they came down here because Sammy's aunt lives like not even two miles away like super close 
and I guess they came down here to see her or help her because she just had carpal tunnel surgery or something. So, you know, and of course they're going to stop by and see us on the way to see her because we live right here. But at the same time, it's like, well, a little bit of notice would have been nice. But what do I, you know, who cares what I feel or think, right? So that happened. Um, finally, he drops us off. I'm like, geez, thank God, you know, like, I hate to say that. Like, his dad's so nice, but it's just little stuff like that when it comes to like respect and my space and stuff like my parents like I don't know I just wasn't raised that way you know and that's what I'm gonna say about that um I think I'm done with the three tens there's I'll put one right there so let me get a new color before I start doing so now I'm gonna do um well basically that was my week in a nutshell um shitty so now I'm going to oh and I also talked to my mom which surprise surprise guess what she told me she's going on vacation again next week i'm pretty sure she just went to mexico on a vacation two months ago when my nephew had surgery but you know she goes on literally like five vacations a year but has she come one time to see her kids well at least me for that matter uh no not even once so that's how i feel about that she told me she was going on vacation like an excited voice and i'm like oh so where are you going she's like oh we're going to florida we're going to the beach and we're gonna go see my cousin Jeff. I'm like, oh cool, so when are you gonna see your daughter? You know, I mean, ever? Are you gonna be like getting put in the ground before I could see you again? And she's like, that's not funny. And I'm like, well shit, it's facts. Like, you don't ever even, the one time you pretended you were gonna come, you know, I had even asked you the month before you were supposed to be here because, she, you know, she lives in pretty like, what, five states away or something pretty far. Um. I had to ask you to confirm if you're coming because you never brought it up again. I should have known then that you're full of shit, you know? Like, my mom just pisses me off, seriously. But yeah, so that was my week in a nutshell. So let's not talk about that anymore because I want to forget it happened. Um, so now I'm going to do the last part of my get to know me better questions or Q&A. Um, you know, it's only been six months or so since I did the first part of it. So I'm pretty sure... Um, it's about time, right, to finish this up, and I want my viewers to help get to know me better, especially since then I've gotten a lot more subscribers, so I'm going to answer 50 questions, that random ones that I found online. Uh, let me get a color, another color real quick. Um, I'm going to do the little and symbol, one second, 815, 815, which is like a really pretty deep red color, okay? Okay, first question. Um, what family member were you closest to growing up? That would probably be, before she passed away, my Aunt Melissa. And that is my mom's only sibling. Uh, and it was her younger sister. Um, she used her and her boyfriend, or sometimes by herself. But, you know, she was like the outcast in her family you know kind of like how I am um <laughs> like she was a waitress she wasn't married wasn't stable lived in apartments like moved all the time switched jobs all the time but she was gorgeous like she didn't need a stable job because this chick was so hot that guys just oohed and awed over her and probably would give her money anytime she asked and her boyfriend was no exception like he was like some bodybuilder dude like I'm not really into muscular guys, but he was so good looking, right? His name was Cam. I mean, I'm like a little kid and I think he's cute. So that's kind of, I don't know if that's weird on my part, but like, so that just tells you how he's good looking, right? Um, and she used to take me everywhere, like, because my sister was too young usually to go, you know, with us, but she'd take me to get ice cream and she just like, she was just the cool aunt, you know? And um, unfortunately though, she passed away. Uh, when I was in fourth grade, she was nine months pregnant with her first kid, just about to have the baby, and a semi-truck hit her on the freeway. Her tires were bald, and she, uh, the freeway exit she died on, or, like, she got hit by the truck, like, it, it goes, like, a loop, kind of, like that, you know? And, um, her tires were bald, like I said, and so it made her spin out. It was, like, a slick day, like, a rainy day with slick roads, you know? So, um, a big rig hit her and she didn't die instantly though. She went to the hospital, the, they tried to save the baby, the baby didn't make it, and then she died right after. So, 
yeah, it's kind of sucked for me because not only did I love her and I lost someone I loved, but she was like one of my best friends, like, you know, with as a kid and an adult could be friends, like, you know, so that really, really traumatized me. That sucked. Um, but yeah, it would have been my Aunt Melissa growing up. And then after that, it was nobody. <laughs> pretty much I was just a lone ranger I was like f you guys you know <laughs> my sister's annoying she's immature because we're like three years apart and I was like way mature for my age like I always hung out with older kids dated older guys and she was like opposite just like super super immature right and my mom like just only cared about herself and then my dad was al either always at work or just being an asshole to me so that was it that um do you have a guilty pleasure oh gosh of course I mean I have like 80 of them but the one I like never really tell anybody about is like I'm so obsessed not obsessed but like I guess my real bad guilty pleasure would be celebrity gossip like I know that sounds so lame but I can't help myself like I'm always like oh my gosh like I think of like oh did you hear about R. Kelly like I'm the first person to be like oh yeah he had trial last week you know like I just like to go on the celebrity blogs and just look. I think it's because, like, they always seem like they have such the best life. And, like, oh, don't you wish you were me? But really, like, their life is, like, terrible, you know? So, like, when you read these blogs, you're like, Jesus, like, I'm so glad I'm... Maybe I don't want to be famous, you know? Like, I just think it's so funny, the illusion of being famous. It's, like, in reality, it's such a joke, you know? In my opinion, anyways. But, um... <coughs> So yeah, I guess my guilty pleasure would be celebrity blogs or um, celebrity gossip. Um, what is a silly or irrational fear you have? Uh, gosh, I have a couple, definitely. But one I think that I even get mad about, like when it happens to me or when I like trip out about it is say like, usually it's only when I'm in a relationship, okay? So me and Sammy obviously we're together. We're gonna go to bed every night together, right? But if I ever wake up, even if it's in the middle of the night or in the morning, it don't matter. If I wake up from a sleep and he's not next to me, I freak out. And I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's because I've just had such a shitty relationship in the past. But I immediately, I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Is he? Did he leave me? You know, and it's not even like, I don't, if he left me, peaceful. Like, kick rocks. I could care less. If you want to go, go. Don't make me freaking stay. Or don't make me you know be the one that that's the only reason why you're staying is because you're gonna hurt my feelings i'm a big girl i can handle your shit this shit you know what i mean if you don't want to be here please by by all means get the hell out because i'd rather be alone knowing like and that i'm cool than being with someone that don't want to be with me like screw that but it's not so it's not that right it's just the fact that like i don't know what it is like i wish i could explain it to you but i can't but like there's been times in the past where i've dated really shitty guys right and I've woken up alone and come to find out they were with some other chick and like it devastated me and I think it I don't know like why it would traumatize me because to me it's like I'm so expect I expect dudes to cheat like I just do because it's happened pretty much my whole life right like every boyfriend I've had has cheated on me literally except maybe my ex-husband but he was a piece of shit too in other ways but we're not gonna talk about that right now so I don't know what it is like I have a bin I think I have abandonment issues like straight up because literally like everyone has literally abandoned me my mom my dad um all my friends like every dude I fell in love with I mean which wasn't a lot it was only like two or three but still like you know I don't know what it is but it's so dumb and I really need to get over that um what do you think your best traits are I think for me it would be like being I'm really humble because I've had it all and I've lost it all right so I can relate probably with anybody who's on either side I guess or or like have a conversation with them or whatever it may be um and I am really loyal but sometimes I feel like it's a fault and same with my honesty I am a very honest person but a lot of people don't like that about me so I don't want to say that it's a good trait when other people don't like it about me so I think I'm done with this symbol. Hold on. Let me get another color. Um, how have you ever had your heart broken? If so, by who? Um, yes, <laughs> obviously, right? I'm. It's not like I'm 15 years old, but <laughs> the first person I fell in love with wasn't even my husband, my ex-husband, which is crazy to say, but it's true. It was the guy I 
was with after my ex-husband and that was the guy that you know where I would wake up in the middle of the night and he would be with some other chick but so yeah he broke my heart first time and that sucked and it took me almost a year to get over him but um let me find another color let me do B um when I did it felt so good because after I had just finally gone over his ass he called me drunk one night and was like I miss you I've been dreaming about you and he was with the chick at the time who he cheated on me with and I'm like oh sucks for you and it kind of just gave me a little bit and I hate to say this sounds so evil but I'm like haha like you know you've messed around with this dude knowing he was with me and now he's calling me when he's with you how does it feel you know she eventually found out um that he was a scumbag because he wasn't it's, he only called me that one time like but he was still effing around on her with other girls you know but I was like yep karma sucks for you you know <laughs> but yeah so that idiot broke my heart but you know what thank god because I'm so glad I'm not with that dude um do you have any phobias oh, okay my worst is claustrophobia I am so freaking claustrophobic even if you get too close to me I'm just like whoa back the hell up you know <laughs> like Sammy like he'll he always does this like he'll reach over me to grab something on my shelf like we have shelves on each side of our bed like you know little cabinets and shelves or whatever and I freak out I'm like what the hell do you want like I freak out dude like he's like dude chill I'm just grabbing the soda you know or whatever and I'm like don't do that I'm like you know that pisses me off like because I freak out and one time when I was a kid I had this genius idea thinking it would be fun don't ask me where I thought this would be a great idea but me and my sister were like, yeah, let's ride. Because our grandparents lived not even a few blocks away from us at the time. Well, this is totally illegal. Please don't do this to your children or, you know, nothing. But this is back in the days when even wearing a seatbelt wasn't the law yet. You know, times have changed a lot. But we thought it was a great idea to ride to grandma's house in the trunk of the car. And my parents agreed to this. This is how much my parents, you know, this is my parents. If that explains anything about my parents, I hope. I hope you realize now how un ignorant my parents were or whatever it is. They didn't make the best decisions, okay, when it came to being parents. But yeah, so back to my point. My dad's like, oh yeah, sure. It's just, it's just down the road. Why not? You know, God forbid a car hit us in the back or something. Like, the possibilities are endless of what could have happened. But thank God nothing happened to us. Well, we didn't even get to the stop sign, which was like 50 feet from our house. And I freaked out so bad. I don't know. I got like Superman, human strength, like... I kicked the back seat in so hard. I'm like eight years old, dude. Or I think it was nine at the time, nine or ten. And it freaking flew out the back seat. And I think I broke it. Like my dad had to fix it because I was like, fuck that. Like I'm not going back there again. I was so scared because it was so, I didn't realize how small and dark and suffocated I was going to feel. And ever since then, I don't even like going into the elevator, dude. I'm just like, nope, I'm good. And every time I see these shows where people are like, like diving in the ocean into caves and like doing all this crap, I'm like, how? Like, I couldn't. I would probably die of shock because I'd be so freaking scared. No, I just... Claustrophobia is what I have, like, to the point where I probably need therapy for it, so... Okay, let me... Sorry, let me get another color. Um, let me get P. I'm gonna get a 2, 2, DMC 2, 2, 3. It's like a light pinky color. Um, If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? It would be my, like, not to have such high expectations of people. And I'm really trying to learn, like, that just because what I think, like, say, for example, loyalty is, doesn't mean that's what other people think of it as. Like, like I might think being loyal is a certain, like, how to act a certain way. Okay, how do I say this? I may think... A certain way of being loyal like what how you should act what you should what you should say as a friend or not not in a relationship necessarily but like friendship let's just say okay um but other people think different of me duh they weren't raised like me they were raised in different situations different environments whatever and i have a hard time with that and i'm, I'm getting better why did i choose this color like there's not even i don't even see one sorry i'm such an idiot oh no yeah i do i thought i was doing v sorry guys <laughs> freaking stupid um but yeah and so like I used to get really upset or down when like something would happen like an incident would happen with between me and a friend or something and I feel like betrayed or, or hurt because I feel like well if they really were my friend why would they say that or why would they do that like 
I know it sounds petty, but like, you know, I only have a couple friends and I'm really, really picky when it comes to friends. Like, I consider you family once you're my friend. And it's really hard for me to get along with anybody. Like, I know that sounds weird, but like, it, it really is hard for me to get close to anybody because in my life, a lot of people have hurt me um, and betrayed me. So including my parentals so you know it's like once i i i put you in that category in my brain as okay this is my good friend or whatever and you do something like i'm always so quick to like cut someone off you know and i'm getting better at that but i'm still i still need work you know and i'm, I'm just finally realizing that like so i feel like that's growth but like at the same time it's still not getting it that much better so I'm trying to trying to get better but it's not getting that much better yet I need to switch colors already you know maybe I should pick a color that I won't need to change immediately I always do that um what do I have a lot of oh okay I'll, I'll do G um okay so now I'm gonna do DMC 902 which is an even darker red color where am I going? Here we go. <laughs> okay, um, if you had the power to change anything in the world, what would it be? To take away any kind of money or currency. Like, and I know you're like, whoa. Because I feel, well, what do you mean? Like, how could you get stuff or whatever? I don't care at this point. Because money is ruining the world. And that, that saying, money is the root of all evil, it's so true. Like, if there was no money... There wouldn't be anybody that's starving. No starving children. There wouldn't be homeless people. There wouldn't be people making scandalous decisions or decisions that put people in jeopardy or even kill people because money is is involved. You know, um, the powers at B are because they have all the money. And I just feel like everything would be a lot different, but in a better way if we had no money. So that's what I would do. I would just take away all money, all currency all over the world. Say, now figure it out because, you know, maybe now we'll start realizing that we're all the same. We should all be loving each other and taking care of each other and not deciding if money is a factor or not, you know? But that'll never happen, so. Um, have you ever got into a physical fight? If so, what happened? Oh my gosh. I mean, yes, but the one that <laughs> I can think of on top of my head is hilarious because this chick tried to jump me right like she and her little friend came up to me i was waiting for a ride outside and granted this is a, a this was a time when i had a warrant okay so i'm in front of a motel six waiting for a ride and this chick comes up to me give me your shit or give me your purse like me and her did not like each other clearly um and i was like this like this chick is the same size as me if not smaller and i'm really small so i was like oh god what is this chick serious and I'm like, no. And I'm like, oh, oh, she was trying to jack me, basically. My, like, take my stuff, right? But stupid idiot bitch fucking didn't even realize I had the money in my bra. Like, hello, I'm not retarded. Like, I'm in the ghetto of Escondido where I grew up. I know better, okay? But, and all I had was, like, some makeup that was used. And what else did I have in my purse? Some change. Like, basically, um, I didn't even have... Oh, I had my cell phone in my hand. So I threw my purse down and we just started fighting, right? Got into it. Well, I got her down on the ground. Like the other chick who was supposed to jump me with her didn't even do anything. She just stood there and watched like, huh, some good friend you got, <laughs> you know? Like, so I'm not even paying attention to her. Like I sort of am because I'm thinking she's supposed to jump in, right? But she never did. So I'm like, all right, cool, I got this. So I get this chick on the ground, like in a headlock and everything. She's like, Sandra, help me. I'm just kidding. Her name wasn't Sandra. I don't even remember, to be honest. I'm just going to say Sandra because it's a lame name and that chick was lame. Sorry if your name's Sandra out there. Um, <laughs> so she, um, she, oh, she's all, Sandra, get her off of me. Right? So she pulls me off. I'm like, get the fuck off me. You know, and I like, I elbow this other chick and she just backs up. Like she, she didn't want none of it. Like she was, I don't even know why she was there. I think she was just pretending to have her back or something. Like it was so weird. So I'm thinking I'm going to get my ass beat because there's at least two people, right? And that other chick was kind of big. But nope, nothing. So, and then she does this, this chick, Lauren, that was the chick that I got in a fight with, does this high juju kick on me and kicks me in the chest. And I'm like, ow, like that hurt. But at the same time, I'm like, 
what the hell are you a freaking are you karate kid like it tripped me out dude i was like what the hell i was like totally unexpected like it was almost funny well i guess while i was fighting like pretty much almost beating this chick's ass because like i mean i got a couple hits in but i when i had her on the ground i was just like okay now what what are you gonna do like you can't even move because i had her in the lock you know so i guess while i was doing that the other chick had grabbed my purse which I didn't care because as soon as I started to fight her, I put my phone, I had a little phone, I put it in my bra and I had my money in my bra. Thank God nothing fell out while I was getting, like, that's how dumb this whole situation was. Like, if you're going to go and jump somebody or at least fight somebody, even if you're by yourself, at least don't get your ass beat in the first two minutes or in a headlock in two minutes, right? So I let her go and I'm like, you're lame. Well, okay. So then I come to reality, right? Because when I get in a fight or a rage, like I black out. Well, then when I come back, like come to... I realize what's going on. I'm in front of a hotel. There's people outside watching us and I have a warrant, right? So I'm like, fuck this. So I'm like, peace. And I ran off, right? Like, like I'm not going to get in trouble. Like, I'm not going to go to jail today over this chick. So I freaking take off. I don't even give a shit about that purse. I don't care because I know I got money in my bra and I got a phone in my, my other side of my bra. So I go across the street to another hotel at the time. And thank God, by the grace of God, I had seen my homegirl. And she was just checking out. And I was like, hey, let me hide in your car. She's like, why? What happened? And she's eight months pregnant at the time. And I'm like, dude, I just got in a fight with Lauren. Um, she's like, Lauren, so-and-so. I'm not going to say her last name. She's like, do I have to go over there and beat some ass? And I'm like, dude, you're eight months pregnant. Calm down. No, I'm not going to have no baby injury or death or miscarriage on my conscience, okay? I said, no, just let me hide in your car because I know the cops are going to come. And sure enough. I jump in that car, I hide under the seat, and freaking two cop cars had come in the back where the hotel was, circling around looking for me, I'm assuming, because they didn't leave for like 20 minutes. They kept circling, because there's like four hotels in the same vicinity in Escondido. It's really the only hotels there, except one on the other side of town, right? But yeah, so I was so lucky. I was like, so then they leave, we get the hell out of there. I'm still hiding. I hide all the way till they leave, like drive away. Because I'm like, I'm not getting out right here, hell no. So they freaking, they dropped me off far away and she, and she asked what happened. I told her, she's like, man, she's like, that bitch is stupid. <laughs> she's like, what the hell? Well, yeah, so much for them jumping me. I guess it didn't really work out, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's my getting in a fight story. <laughs> it was actually really funny. Um, what is something that will make you snap or that you won't tolerate? <sighs> okay, what I will never tolerate again in my life because it happened to me so much while I was married is being humiliated. Like, you're not going to make me the butt of the joke, like, or, you know, the joke of the conversation. You got me effed up, dude. Like, Sammy tried to pull out a couple times, and let's just say he learned his lesson, at least for now, because if you ever try to make me feel like I'm stupid, or call me stupid in front of people, or embarrass me, like, like, <laughs> look at this chick, look how dumb she is, like, that kind of thing, I will freaking snap. And let's just say it's not pretty, so. Definitely that humiliation i will not put up with humiliation being humiliated and i won't let anyone humiliate someone else either in front of me you're not gonna bully anybody on my watch you know um where were you ever in a scary situation that you made out of okay but probably shouldn't have uh yes so one time my okay so one of my best friends about six years ago died from blood poisoning and um i was mourning for a while on that like it had been a long time since someone close to me had died, so I was really upset. And I was just out of it. Well, I went to Jack in the Box one morning, because it only was like a block away from my house at the time in Escondido. And I'm walking back from Jack in the Box, and there's this dude who's like driving, creeping on me, right? And he's like, hey, you want to come smoke? And I'm like, smoke what? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, like, because I, I smoke weed sometimes. Like, I don't anymore, but I used to smoke weed a lot. So that's what I'm thinking. And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going home. Like, and he kept pursuing me. Right. And like my stupid ass was like thinking, oh, well, cause I'm out of it. Like I'm mentally just checked out. Like I'm so upset. I'm mourning my best friend passed away and I'm just like, so, so upset about it. Right. And, um, let me get a color real quick. G. And so he keeps like pushing and pushing and I'm like, you know that story where the girl gets into the car of a stranger to get a ride home and she's never seen again? That should have been me. Because my dumbass, that's exactly what I did. I get in the car, eventually I'm like, oh yeah, I could use some weed, you know? We, and he had worked at a business, not even 
it was a block away from my house, but on the other side, of, the opposite side of Jack in the Box, right? He had a, like a used car uh, business there and he had like a little shed in the back, not a shed. It was like a, kind of like a little trailer off the ground, I guess, I don't know. So as soon as we go in there to smoke, right? He shuts the door and locks it and immediately is when my, <laughs> my spider senses freaking came on, right? I'm like, wait, why is he locking the door? Because their business wasn't open yet. It didn't even open for like two hours and like he owns it. So, or so he said, right? So I immediately started tripping. I'm like, well, you know, this isn't a good idea. Like I just start saying anything I can think of to get the hell out of there. Cause I knew like that fool locking the door, he was on, he was trying to do something right. And sure enough, he tried to grab me. He tried to freaking kiss me and like pretty much rape me, dude. And I'm like, dude, uh, uh. So I'm like, oh, I can't do this. Um, let me go get my, what did I say? I said I had to go grab something from the house. I don't remember what it was. I said, I'll be right back by the grace of God again. Freaking he unlocked that door and let me out and I fucking never went back. I was like, dude, this dude straight up. I was so lucky. Like, I really thought you guys, I was gonna at the very least get sexually assaulted. Like, like, you know, just something wasn't right. And my body immediately knew too. They were like, what the hell? It was just like, cause it was literally like you were in a fog, right? You like, you know, when you're in a fog and then something happens and you just snap out of it and you're like, what the hell? And then everything's clear again and you realize what the hell you're doing or what's going on. That's what happened to me at that moment. I was like, dude, Jessica, what the hell? And ever since then, I've never gone to a stranger's cart. <laughs> cause that was like, I don't know, an angel watching over me or something. Cause that scared the crap out of me. Um, have you ever had a dream that turn in, turned into a premonition? Yes. And it was so crazy. So when I was 14 years old, I dated this dude from 14 to 17, right? On and off. Like, it was a shitty relationship. I mean, we're in high school. What do you expect? We'd always go break up, go back on, break up, go back on. Well, I had a dream one time. I think I was like 15 or 16 at this point. We were together for about two years on and off. Um, I'm getting another color real quick. 844 DMC. And, um, I had a dream one night that he was cheating on me, like that he had taken a chick with red hair. This is all I remember that he, that I caught him making out with a girl with red hair. I wake up the next day and I even call him and tell him about this dream. Guess what happened? Yeah, it happened. I come to find out my best friend, this chick named Kitty at the time, go figure, freaking stripper name. Um ended up she was my best friend and she was cheating on or she was cheating he was cheating on me with her who has and kitty has red hair okay and it literally within it wasn't even within a week of me having that dream how freaking nuts is that i've never forgotten that even though it was like so dumb like i mean it wasn't dumb at the time i was like devastated of course i'm like this 15 year old kid like he he fucked my best friend you know like whatever like yeah, needless to say, I never talked to that chick again. I stopped being her friend, too. But I just couldn't believe that. I was like, I even told this fool this. And then he goes and does this? But I think maybe it was just a sign from the angels. Like, hey, you need to check, check this fool. Because uh, something's going on that behind your back that you don't know about. You know what I mean? So I'm so glad I had that dream. Because it almost, like, kind of prepared me for what was to come. But, um... What body feature do you pay most attention to? I'd have to say my nails. I mean, I'm like so weird about my nails, how they look. Like even with when I don't have fake ones on, they always have to be painted and nice. Like, I don't know why. It's always been a weird thing of mine. Um, my hair can look like shit up in a bun for two weeks. I could care less, but my nails have to look cute. So that's that. <laughs> uh, what do a lot of people misjudge about you? A lot of people think I'm cold, um, believe it or not people in real life not youtube land my youtube land friends are the are the best but um in real life no people really don't want anything to do with me but when they get to know me and i'm like super funny and sweet and super nice like they're like oh you're a lot nicer than i thought you were like i always get that told that you're a lot cooler than i thought you were everyone i always think you're a bitch everyone says you're a bitch i'm like well probably because i am like but i'm only i'm not a bitch i just don't trust people like you know, people who think I'm a bitch only think I'm a bitch because for a reason because they had you know alternative motives with me and um, I caught them on it or called them out and they didn't like that that's usually what happens you know so um, 
X1 wet is something you do that other people think is high maintenance or stuck up. Probably I don't shop at Goodwill or secondhand stores. Like, um, I don't like to go to the swap meet at all. Sammy loves going to the swap meet. I hate it. I hate it. I don't want someone else's crap. Like, think what you want to think. Like, sorry, but no. Like, I'll go to, you know, Ross or Marshalls or like, you know, outlet stores like uh, Dee Dee's or Walmart even, but I'm not going to buy someone else's secondhand shit. Sorry. I just, nope, not me. Uh, so that's what a lot of people think, I guess, would be stuck up about me, but I don't care. <laughs> um, what's the first thing you look at when meeting another person? It's either going to be, it's usually their teeth. I don't know why, but that's like the first thing I look at. Um, their teeth or their shoes. <laughs> I know that's weird, but I've heard actually a lot of chicks say that, that they look at the shoes. But teeth probably for me, that if they don't smile, then their shoes. What is something you probably should do but never do? Exercise. <laughs> I hate it. Don't want to do it. Never will do it. Luckily, God graced me with skinniness and being petite. So exercising can just kiss my ass. I hate exercising. I used to like always get um, pink in trouble in PE growing up because I would never dress out. I would never run. I could care less. Like I was like, no, nah, I'm a lazy, lazy bastard and I don't want to run. So I'm not going to. <laughs> um, what is something you probably should do but never do? Oh, I already did that one. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> have you ever come close to death or have had any near death experience? Ooh, this is like some serious crap right here. Um, yes. It's actually really gnarly. Um, I've had a couple near-death experiences. But the one I want to talk about probably, like, because I've been in a car accident, but like, okay, big deal. Like, a lot of people have. So I probably should kind of want to talk about the other one. Just so people who, if this has happened to you, you know you're not alone. I'm looking for my freaking bead tray. What the hell did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Sorry, guys. So one time I was dating this douchebag for a long time, like four years, who I was completely in love with, even though he's a piece of crap. Um, and we got in a fight one time, and he had just gotten this new iPhone, and he was, like, obsessing over it to the point, like, he was basically, like, caring more about the iPhone, in my opinion, or in my head, than me. And I took the phone and I threw it at a TV or I threw it at the wall or something. He got so mad that he choked me so bad that I was blacking out. And all I remember is I was blacking out. I couldn't breathe. And all I saw was a flash. Uh, you know, they say, oh, I saw a flash before my eyes. My life went before my eyes and I saw my family. And like, literally, that's not a joke. Like, that's what happened to me. Like, it was the craziest shit. All I see is a flash. It was like my life in two seconds of my family. And then I pissed myself. And this is so embarrassing to say, but I'm keeping it real. I pissed myself. And then all of a sudden, it's, for some, somehow, I said, I can't breathe, right? And he let go. Like, he wouldn't let go for, like, the two minutes he was choking me out. But then he lets go. And then I look down. And I'm like, <gasps> you know, I'm, like, gasping for breath. And I see that I pissed on the bed because we were on the bed fighting, you know? And, like... I was like, wow, like I literally almost just died. Cause you know when they say like when you die um, either after or right before you like lose your bodily functions. Well, that's pretty much what happened to me. Like, and I'll never, and I mean, I wish I could say that I broke up with him right after that, but my stupid ass didn't for like another year. But that's why I will never put up with, like I've been through it all, you know? Like I won't put up with domestic violence. I won't put up with cheating I won't do anything because I've already been through it so many times that I just I can't do it anymore like I'm over it I've and plus I was single for so long after that that guy like thank god that I learned how to be happy alone and oh my god it was like amazing the only reason why I'm even with Sammy is because he is an amazing dude as much as we fight and he gets on my nerves and he does stupid annoying little shit like I'll take that any day than any dude I've ever been with because he to him he's like a or to me, he's a godsend, I should say. Like, he's like, he really is like, yeah, he annoys me when he's a yes man. But that's also why I love him, if that makes sense. He has a big heart, you know, and he cares about people. And not saying I don't, but I just, um, I just, I'm more guarded, you know what I mean? And that's only because I've been through a lot more in life than he has. So, 
you know, it takes experience, I guess, to know how to spot them or who to, how to spot who to trust and who not to, right? So, but yeah, so yes, I almost died a couple times, but that was probably the scariest time. And um, domestic violence is no joke, you know, and I'm lucky I got out of that alive and I'm stupid for not leaving him right away, but love is blind, right? And at least I left him while I could and still made it out safely and alive, right? Um, next question is the last question. What is something you could live the rest of your life never doing again and be completely happy with not having to do it? Okay, I know this might sound weird, but staying in a hotel. <laughs> I lived in hotels for so long, you guys have no idea. Like, I don't even want to look at another hotel. If I don't ever have to check into another hotel room again, I will be completely happy for the rest of my life, like, not doing that because rent in San Diego is so insane you guys I mean even a hotel room is a hundred bucks a night doesn't matter if it's a motel six it's 90 80 to 90 bucks here where I live I mean it's insane like and not only that like and be, so imagine if that's how much a hotel costs imagine how much rent is dude like me and Sammy couldn't get a place that's why we had to move from San Diego because it was so freaking expensive we just couldn't do it we couldn't even I mean I was so much skinnier than I am already because we could never afford to eat like it was so freaking bad dude so that's why we ended up moving up here and yeah so screw hotel rooms like I I we had to stay in hotels for so long like and all the sketchy people you like encounter there and like dude we we got our shit stolen so many times because of that or like our car broken into like hotels are not like the best i mean it's usually where people take people to have sex or do drugs i mean let's just keep it real right it's very unless you're staying at the marriott or hilton which we could definitely not afford to stay on a month-to-month -month basis right you're gonna you know encounter a lot of sketchy people and so i was just like yeah so that's that's my answer if i don't ever have to go to another check into another hotel room again for the rest of my life thank the lord you know <laughs> straight up so those are my um 20 questions finally the last part of my get to know me better series if you want to watch the other two i will link them down below um thank you so much I, i'm gonna wrap this up um i'm sure this video has already been long enough but i just want to say again congratulations to the giveaway winners and please um contact me as soon as possible so i can tell you all about your gifts and how to get them to you quickly um thank you so much to my subscribers and i hope everyone in who is watching this video or who did watch this video to please like comment and subscribe and i hope you all have a great rest of the day or night wherever you may be and i will see you all next time bye